this is Tina with Wild Hair Vintage Finds. Today I am going to one of my favorite haunts uh, to go thrifting. It is Senior Tuesday. That's one of the advantages of being a senior is Tuesdays. So um, actually I'm just I'm gonna go to my most favorite haunt. Um, I go there usually about once a week just to kind of check everything out see what's what's there um, and I love the people they're so kind there and then we'll see what happens next so join us see what we can find in the wild We're back from our trip to one of my favorite thrift stores, Deseret Industries. Found some really fun things, just a few, and I'll tell you why. Because my son, who has gone with me on some of my thrifting adventures, gave me a challenge. He said, okay, mom, 15 minutes, five things. Five things, 15 minutes, that's it. And I said, okay, I can do this. So it was the five and 15 challenge. This is what I came up with. I ended up taking 22 minutes instead of 15. But anyway, let's go over what I found and see what you think. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna be putting these on my eBay and Etsy store and uh, that's where you can find them. Okay, first item, an incredibly beautiful walnut uh, stain jewelry chest. It's got the nice drawers. Look at, I love the hardware on here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Great hardware. Um, look at the feet. They're like Queen Anne's, Queen Anne legs and nice brass. Um, the drawers themselves do pull out. They're all uh, finished on the inside with this great beautiful blue and white fabric really pretty good good job on this I don't know that it's real vintage it, I mean it might be vintage vintage uh, nowadays is anything that is pre 2001 so might be vintage um, it's got a great inset mirror for you to kind of look and make sure you got your piece centered correctly but then what also I found so um, interesting and so fun, you've got a place for all your rings and that kind of a thing. Can you see that? As I was looking at it though, there were, there's all kinds of little uh, fortune cookie fortunes in here. Isn't that wild? I'm leaving those in there as a nice little surprise and a nice message for you in 2021. Isn't that a great way to kick off the year? Beautiful um, vintage jewelry chest. It does have a, a little bit of a scratch on the top, but I'm thinking I might be able to get that out and uh, it'll be a beautiful gift for somebody. Next, we have this incredible, really well done painted uh, covered sugar bowl. Now, I know it's a sugar bowl because there's that little opening right there for a spoon that it pro that probably came with it at one point. The spoon is missing, of course. If you have any vintage um, silver spoons, sugar spoons or something, it'd look beautiful in here. Or a gold tone one, and you can find them. I actually will have some in my store that I've picked up. But I love this with the little underplate. Beautifully hand-painted. Now the gilding on here, see that beautiful gold on here? 
it reminds me of a company called Picard, you know, like Captain Picard, only different, uh, P-I-K-A-R-D. They were somebody who actually would um, provide uh, ceramics for people, maybe not the pieces themselves, but what Picard did is they did the painting and they had some great artists that would do that. Um, and one of the things I've noticed that they do is this really beautiful, heavy gold um, gilding on their pieces. I have another one that I'll show later of a, a cup and saucer that I got that, uh, that is a Picard piece. This one is signed, and it's signed by J, J Finn, F-I-N-N. -N. I don't know if you can see that or not because I'm not sure if I'm even pointing it in your direction but anyway um, I'm assuming that is the artist who did the painting on this but isn't that beautiful gorgeous gorgeous elegant uh, sugar bowl next we're gonna do a little bit of whimsy I found this guy and I just couldn't resist there's something about googly eyes I guess I don't know do you ever remember that song? My mom used to have a 78 record of the song Barney Google with his goo goo googly eyes. And when I saw the owl, I guess I have to name him Barney because he totally reminded me of that song. Isn't that a kick? He's adorable. He is completely metal. Um, he's got a metal spring. He's got a spring body, so he shakes a little bit makes his eyes move. Um, I just thought he was cute. I had to get him. And he's an owl. Owls are pretty popular even now. So um, I paid a dollar for him. And I would think I would easily get, I don't know, 10 to $12 for this little guy. Isn't he cute though? I love him. Okay, along with whimsical kinds of things, I ended up finding this guy this is an official Dr. Seuss tie, men's tie. One fish, two fish, three red fish, blue fish. And uh, it does have the official label. It is coming loose on the one end. I'm going to have to tack that down. Can you see that? But it is Dr. Seussable. And um, I thought this would be a great gift for a guy even for a fisherman you know um, I just thought that would be so fun for Father's Day um, but I loved this guy he was adorable I came home showed it to the hubs and he said oh nay nay I'm gonna use that you're not selling it so um, but yes to one fish two fish I actually love Dr. Seuss and um, have tried to um, also do my own writing and I do poetry and so forth so that's fun I just gotta say next I have this little guy isn't he adorable he is a ceramic really pretty made in Japan he is a bookend and it is a single bookend however you can use these a lot in decoration. Um, a lot of times people, it doesn't uh, stop people from buying because you can use just one end and do books and have them leaning against a bookcase or a bookshelf and then just use the one, the one bookend to anchor the piece. It'll give a lot of interest to your decor as you're doing that. Um, the nice thing with this, I thought this was interesting, it is a made in Japan piece, but it does let you know to fill it with sand. It's got a little stopper right here that you can use to fill it with sand so that you can weight it down a little bit. You can weight it down a little bit and then that way it will secure heavier books. I paid $2 for this. And again, I'm thinking I should probably get probably anywhere from $12 to $15 for this guy. Next, 
I got this, I'm thinking um, late 70s um, vintage trivet. It's by the Onida Company. Onida does a lot of silver dining wear, um, silverware, those kinds of things. Um, Onida commissioned uh, William Rogers, William A. Rogers to do this. And that's what actually attracted me to this piece. Two things did. Two things attracted me. One is that it was new in the box, brand new, never used. Um, I'll be putting it back in its plastic sleeve, but I did want to show you it because it's really well done. Um, and two, um, the fact that it's new in box and the fact that it was a William A. Rogers, it is made in Japan, so I figured that obviously that would have been maybe a 70s item. And just by the stylings of it, it's definite piece for an 80s type of kitchen if you're headed, headed in that direction. How do I know? Because I was married in 1986 and the calla lily was everywhere. So, beautiful piece, gold tones. It'll look lovely in a home. And then last of all, my son picked these out and he was attracted to them because of the back stamp, actually. The back stamp says Graf von Hennenberg, and that it was from the German Democratic Republic. The German Democratic Republic was the name given to East Germany before the re reunification. Uh, thing happened and so these are really cool that way it's a great design now I tried to find it there are a lot of Graf von Hennenberg pieces that you can find on the internet um, Etsy has a lot eBay does too um, but I tried to find this particular pattern and it was rather difficult so uh, they are a porcelain company that is actually um, kind of absorbed a lot of different smaller porcelain companies and they're into a big conglomerate kind of over there in Germany and I actually sent them uh, an email asking them to see if I couldn't get some help identifying the piece and maybe find out how old they are. Now I will say one of the telltale signs is any kind of wear marks on the bottom. If you see something where it's a, the porcelain's a little discolored or something like that, it just it's just a sign of age. And um, this did not have too much aging on the piece. So I actually I wrote to them and thought I wanted to kind of find out if I could any more information on these. Um, but anyway, it's a set of six. I don't know how much resale value they're actually going to have, but um, I thought they would be a wonderful spring decor item. I mean, I think you could set a lovely spring table for tea. And, you know, the trend is to kind of mix and match patterns anyway, uh, china patterns and so forth. So um, these would be a really nice addition to um, a beautiful spring table. So... Anywho, that's it for right now. I do hope you will like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because I have a whole sh she shed full of things that I have thrifted and collected over the last, oh, two, three years. I've always been a thrifter, but it's been the last two years or so that I've actually been thrifting with the intent to resell. So I've got a lot of goodies that I can share with you and I do hope you'll stay tuned and kind of follow along as I do this journey of uh, the reselling and retirement kind of thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.